Welcome to this CAD Masters video on the use of the display system in AutoCAD Architecture and AutoCAD MEP. The display system is what controls how we view objects in either of those two programs. Objects such as doors and windows and walls are controlled by the display system. You'll notice that my drawing looks different in plan view than it does in model view. In other words, in plan view, you'll look at one of these doors and you'll see the swing. The moment I rotate this drawing into a, a model view, my swings disappear. Furthermore, if I were to switch to a bottom view, the view will change again altogether and I'll see that my walls are now actually single line stylized lines. Now those only apply if I'm in this medium detail um, display configuration. If I were to change that to something like plan only, then this is how my view will my objects will look in all views. As I rotate to model view, it'll stay the same. If I go back to plan, my objects look the same. So let's go into the display manager and kind of tear apart this display system and see how it works. you'll see on the left side of the display manager are three different kinds of display items configurations sets and representations by object configurations are what we were just changing in our drawing area and they're kind of the highest level display controller sets are sort of middle level containers um, that con contain representations by object and are referenced by configurations finally the representations by object are object-specific um, display representations. So let's start out by looking at a configuration. If I expand configurations, I'll see in bold the configuration I'm currently using. But let's highlight standard. Take a look at that. This is what a configuration contains. A list of view directions corresponding to a list of display representation sets. There's one set assigned to each view. So you can see here that in ele any elevation view, left, right, front, or back, there's a section elevation set being used. Um, the top view has a plan set, and the bottom has a plan diagnostic, which is what we saw as a single line earlier from the bottom. And then finally, default is a 3D model view, and therefore it's using a model representation set. Let's go in and look at sets now. So I'll minimize configurations, and I'll go into sets. What I'll see in sets is a, different, a list of sets, and each set contains a matrix of objects and display representations. Each object has one or more display representations, and they can be chosen here. So if I scroll down to something like wall, I'll notice as I scroll across that I have a bunch of different options. I can look at it in graph, model, model high, model low. In the plan set, I'm using the plan representation. You can see that it's checked. You'll also see that sill plan is checked. And that just shows that you can actually have more than one representation in each set. If I look at my model set, I'll probably see that mostly model is used for my representation. And that is what you'll see. This model column is mostly filled with checks. And that's because we mostly want to use the model representations for objects when we're using the model set. Finally, let's take a look at the actual representations by object. So I'll minimize my sets and expand my representations. And let's look at wall. If I select wall itself, I'll get another matrix. And this matrix just controls which sets are available. In other words, this is just another place to control the sets. Here I can just see a matrix view of my different display representations as well as all my sets, and it shows you which display representation is being used by each set. If I expand wall in my tree view, I'll actually see all my different representations by object. And if I highlight one of those, like model, what I'll see is a bunch of uh, display components that I can turn on and off. 
and that's what's controlling how it appears in my view. If I switch to one like Graph, I'll see there are only three display components that I can turn on and off. Here I can also control the line type, line weight, and color of each of these display components. To create new representations by object, what you'll do is you'll just go into your tree view, you'll right click on one and say copy and then paste it. And that gives you a good starting point to create your own representations. For sets and configurations, you can actually go in and right click and say new, so you don't have to copy an existing one. But you can also copy existing sets and, sets and configurations if you prefer. So just to sum things up, um, configurations are made up of sets, and sets are made up of representations. Each object has a number of representations. Your set controls which representations are used. And then your configuration just assigns sets to different views. Thank you for watching this video by CADmasters. I hope it helped. And uh, please look at our other videos to see if you have, we have anything else that can help you out. Thanks.